Picture this. A customer visits your site, gets a reminder email, and is spurred to purchase, all while you're going about your day. This is made possible with flows, which can make you money without any additional input. In this video, we'll go over the three best practices for using flows in your marketing strategy. Let's get started. Best practice number one, set three key flows live. First, set your welcome series, abandoned cart, and win back flows live. Flows can help nurture your customers at all stages of the customer lifecycle and grow their customer lifetime value. These three flows are proven to nurture customers at key points in the customer lifecycle and allow you to passively gain revenue. Set up a welcome series flow to introduce your business, build community, and let subscribers know what to expect from you. Create separate welcome flows for each channel to welcome customers to email, SMS, and push separately. Your abandoned cart flow will trigger when customers leave something in their cart without completing a checkout and will remind them a few hours later to go back and complete their purchase. Win back flows aim to remind lapsed customers why they love your brand, encouraging them to re-engage with your content and return to being loyal customers. You can check out starting points for all three of these flows in our flow library. Best practice number two, send messages from at least five flows. Top performing accounts have at least seven flows, with some accounts maintaining more than 15. Flows can help you automate timely and targeted touch points that strengthen customer relationships and foster long-term engagement. The right flow strategy can boost the value of every campaign you send and passively drive income as your customers order from your flows. To set the right flows live, identify your business goals, then line up your goals with places in the customer lifecycle that can contribute to those goals. The Klaviyo Flow Library contains lots of example flows that can provide good starting points for flows that line up with exactly what works for your brand. Best practice number three, personalize flows with split logic. Add conditional and trigger splits to your flows to optimize relevancy and customization. Klaviyo allows you to own all of your data in one place. So why not leverage this data in flows? Conditional and trigger splits allow you to personalize your flows, making sure to send the right content to the right people. Use conditional splits to send different content to customers based on their characteristics or behavior. Add trigger splits to metric triggered flows to send different content to customers based on details about the action they took to trigger the flow. Follow these best practices to quickly get your Klaviyo Flow marketing strategy up and running. Head to the Klaviyo Academy for more marketing best practices and courses to take your flow strategy to the next level. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to check out the description for more information on how to learn and grow with Klaviyo.